Good morning once again. We are continuing with the construction. This time, we are going to look at how to construct some angles. In fact, here, we are going to apply our concept in bisection a lot. Right now, we know how to bisect an angle. So what it means is that if I know how to construct angle 120 degrees, I can bisect angle 120 degrees to get 60. Now, if I get 60, I can bisect the 60 to get 30. In fact, I can even get angle 15 degrees by just bisecting angle 30. The other important angle we are going to look at is 90 degrees. If I know how to buy, uh, construct 90 degrees and I want 45, all what I do is I bisect angle 90 degrees to get my 45. We have other angles which are addition. For example, angle 75 degrees can be constructed, but you cannot construct it straightforward. You need to get either 60 plus 15. Or you can get 35 plus 40. There are other combinations. We also have angle 105, 105. Angle 105, that is 105 degrees. That one too, we can get it by adding 15 degrees to 90. We also have angle 135. How do we get the 135? The 135 is obtained by adding 90 degrees and 45 degrees. So we want to look at this one for now. So let's start with angle 60, 120, and then 30. Now to construct angle 60, 120, 30 degrees. Yeah. Good. Now, I'm going to construct angle 60 degrees. So let's first get my line segment. Let's assume that I have a line segment which measures 5 centimeters. Let me call it P and then Q. Good. How do I draw my 60 degrees? In fact, I must know where I want to draw the 60 degrees. The 60 degrees can be drawn on point P or point Q. Now, for now, I want to construct my 60 degrees or the 120, whichever angle. As I said, on point P. So I'll open my compass at a reasonable arm. Put it on the point. You remember I said point P. Then draw an arc. In fact, a very big arc. You know, in construction, don't think about the construction marks. We always look at them. Some students, after they've uh, drawn them, they waste their time by using eraser to erase them. We always want to see the lines. Good. So I have this arc. Now with the same length, you know the arc I made intersect with the line segment at this point. Let me call that point A. So with the same arm length of the compass, I put the tip of the compass at a, that is where the line and the curve intersect. Then I describe an arc. Where I have described an, the arc will give me angle 60 degrees. How do I get it? The arc and the semicircle meet at this point. And this is where I want to construct my angle. So I use my straight edge to join the two 
points. Now the angle I have here is 60 degrees. The angle I have there is 60 degrees. So I don't know, but the construction of 60 degrees is one of the easiest angles. Now, if I know how to construct 60 degrees, now, you know, uh, if I put my compass here and I get here 60 degrees, then I point the compass on the first arc, where the first arc meets the, uh, the semicircle, and draw another one. I'm getting my 120. Let me just erase this and start the 120 afresh. So I have my line segment here, P and then Q. I'm constructing 120 at point P. I take my compass, put it on point P, describe a semicircle with the same measurement I put the compass here, describe another arc. Remember, this one will give you 60. So if I come here again, I have my 60. 60 plus 60 is obviously 120. So it means that I can just join the point P to where they have the, the second arc to get my... 120 degrees so that is how it is now i hope you know how to construct you will know how to construct 30 degrees right how do you do it you get your angle 60 degrees then you bisect the 60 degrees you can watch the video on how to bisect an angle is the same thing so for instance Assuming I have, I don't know how to buy, uh, draw angle 60 degrees, and I have my angle 120 degrees, I just bisect the 120 degrees to get my 60. Good. So try to bisect, how to bisect angle 60. So when you bisect angle 60, you get your angle 30. Let's move on. Let's look at another angle. That is 90. Now, if I know how to construct 90, constructing 45 degrees wouldn't be a problem to me because I know how to bisect angles. So let's look at how to construct angle 90 degrees. But there are so many ways of constructing 90 degrees. And we are going to look at it carefully. So let's follow the lesson. As usual, you need your line segment. You need the line segment. So I have this, my line segment here. That is a line segment. You remember what a line segment is. So I have the line segment. I can call it A and then B. Now I want to construct angle 90 degrees. As I said, there are, you can even use the scale in constructing a perpendicular at a point to get 90 degrees we've, we've already done that one so i'm going to use a different formula so just follow critically i'm going to construct it which point i can do it at b or a whichever way i like i'm going to construct my 90 degrees at point a so the first step is that I open this compass just as I was uh, what I did when I was constructing the 120. You place it there, open it reasonably, 
draw a semicircle. So that is the first step. You draw a semicircle. Now, remember, do not close or open this one. That is why I always insist that it should always be tight. Now, with the same measurement, I put my compass here. Describe this one. You remember this angle will give me 60. I'm going to describe another one, which will give me 120. Now, let's look at something. From here to here is 60. From here to here is also 60. Now, if I want 90, I know that 60 plus 30 will give me 90. 60 plus 30 will give me 90. So, what I will do is that I will bisect the second 60 degrees. The second 60 degrees, I will bisect that one. When I bisect it, I will get 30 here, 30 there. So let's see. So I'll put it on the first, where the first arc meet the semicircle. Draw an arc up. Then put it on the second arc. Draw another one. Now you will see that the two arcs are meeting at a point. So I'll mark this point as, let's say, O. Point O. Now I have the point A here. So when I join A to O, the angle that has pro I have produced is 90 degrees. So I have my angle 90 degrees here. Have uh, you seen the process? First, you draw the line segment. Secondly, you, you draw a semicircle. Then, with the same arm length of the compass, you describe the first arc. Put the compass on the second arc. Describe the second one. So you get the first sister and then the second sister. Then you divide the second sister into two. So what it means is that the angle here is 30. The angle here is what? 60. So 30 plus 60 will give you the 90. That is the required angle. Right. Now, as I said, if I want to construct 45, there is no shortcut of constructing 45. The best thing is to get 90. Now, after getting the 90, as I have over here, how do I get 45 out of 90? I remember my bisection of angles. So, the, that is the angle 90 degrees. Now, if I want 45 degrees, 45 degrees, What do I do? I have completed my 90 degrees. So I am going to bisect the 90 degrees. In other words, divide the 90 degrees into two equal parts. So look at this. The arc is here. Another arc is here. I mean, the, the, the semicircle. You could see that the semicircle is intersecting at one of the legs of the 90 degrees and then the other, I mean the two legs here and then this point. So let's, we can name this point, let's say M and then N. Now to get the 45, I'll bisect this angle by putting the compass at N first, draw an arc, then putting it on M, draw another wire to intersect the first one. When I finish, the two arcs are intersecting here. So all what I do is that I use my straight edge, that is the ruler, to join the point of intersection of the two arcs to point A. to get my 45 degrees.
to get by 45 degrees. In fact, when you are asked to construct 45 degrees, it is not necessary to join the 90 degrees with a continuous line like this. So at times, you can just use breaking lines. So it will be like this. So to show that we are not after 90 degrees, but rather we are after 45 degrees. So that is how we construct 90 and 45. Can you think about a way of constructing 22 and a half? Yeah. I have 45. So if I know how to construct 45, I just bisect 45, and that is all. So with this, we've seen how to bisect some, I call them basic angles. That is 90, 45, 60, 30, 120. Okay, so we'll continue with the others.